Alien DNA is a mysterious molecule that contains genetic information unknown to human science. It is a complex double helix composed of four different types of nucleotides, adenosine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. The order of these nucleotides forms a genetic code that governs everything from physical characteristics to biochemical processes of organisms. DNA is stored in a nucleus, hidden inside a cell, and is passed down from generation to generation. Communicating with extraterrestrial beings is a topic that excites the curious minds of scientists and laypeople alike. Tons of effort has been invested in the search for life beyond Earth. However, there are many questions about whether attempting to contact advanced beings would be wise. Advances in DNA sequencing have generated speculation about the possibility of aliens communicating with us through the genetic code of bacteria. This theory has been debated for years, with enthusiasts of the search for extraterrestrial intelligence presenting intriguing ideas. Like and share the video, leave your comments. You are awake. Discussions about extraterrestrial life and intergalactic communication have stirred the hearts and minds of scientists and scholars for centuries. However, it was only with the sequencing of the human genome in 2003, thanks to the Human Genome Project, that we could begin to investigate patterns within DNA. Bacteria are capable of surviving intergalactic travel, even at unimaginable distances, making them possible hosts for alien messages. A message that travels for light years, relying on the survival of these bacteria in a hostile universe, can reach us through their notes. At the University of California in 2019, Robert Zubrin discussed the possibility of intergalactic communication through encoded DNA. This astronaut engineer is a staunch advocate of Mars colonization and space exploration. According to Zubrin, microbial bacteria can escape from FG and K-type stars, which have a weaker gravitational force, making intergalactic travel easier. However, other stars have a very strong gravitational force, making it difficult for bacteria to leave their solar systems. To receive alien codes, Zubrin suggested that a strongly magnetized bacterial colony could create a miniature magnetic sail capable of transporting them out. When traveling through space, we must be aware of enigmatic and unpredictable phenomena, as we often encounter unexpected things. Only recently, NASA's Parker Solar Probe entered the upper atmosphere of Venus, our planetary neighbor, with the aim of collecting data about the planet and detected unique radio signals emanating from the atmosphere. Although those less familiar with the mysteries of the cosmos may readily assume that these signals represent an alien race inhabiting the planet, the true revelation is even more exciting, at least for scientists dedicated to space exploration. These identified radio signals are natural phenomena of Venus's atmosphere and indicate that the Parker probe, sailing more than 830 kilometers above the planet, penetrated the outer atmosphere, specifically in an upper layer called the ionosphere. Unfortunately, there are no conclusive answers about the content of these possible messages. Based on research conducted on our own planet, we know that it is possible to encode information in bacterial DNA. The New York Genome Project, for example, has already managed to encode 215,000 terabytes of information per gram of bacterial DNA. As a single bacterium typically has a size variation between 1 and 10 millionths of a meter, there is plenty of space to encode information in a bacterial colony. In 2019, it was considered realistic to encode some bacteria with 900 terabytes of data, which is a huge volume of information. Zubrin compares this data size to 2 billion 200 page books. At the University of California in 2019, Robert Zubrin discussed the possibility of intergalactic communication through encoded DNA. This astronautical engineer is a fierce advocate of Mars colonization and space exploration. According to Zubrin, microbial bacteria can escape from FG and K-type stars that have a weaker gravitational force, making intergalactic travel easier. However, other stars have a very strong gravitational force, making it difficult for bacteria to escape their solar systems. 
To receive alien codes, Zubrin suggested that a strongly magnetized bacterial colony could create a miniature magnetic sail capable of transporting them out into space. When traveling through space, we should be aware of enigmatic and unpredictable phenomena, as we often encounter unexpected things. Only recently, NASA's Parker Solar Probe entered the upper atmosphere of our planetary neighbor Venus in order to collect data about the planet and detected unique radio signals emanating from the atmosphere. Although those unfamiliar with the mysteries of the cosmos may readily assume that these signals represent an alien race inhabiting the planet, the true revelation is even more exciting, at least for scientists who are dedicated to the study of space. These identified radio signals are natural phenomena of the Venusian atmosphere and indicate that the Parker probe, sailing over 830 kilometers above the planet, penetrated the outer atmosphere, specifically in an upper layer called the ionosphere. Unfortunately, there are no conclusive answers about the content of these potential messages. Based on research conducted on our own planet, we know that it is possible to encode information in bacterial DNA. The New York Genome Project, for example, has already encoded 215,000 terabytes of information per gram of bacterial DNA. As a single bacterium usually has a size variation between 1 and 10 millionths of a meter, there is plenty of room to encode information in a bacterial colony. In 2019, it was considered realistic to encode a few bacteria with 900 terabytes of data, which is a huge volume of information. Zubrin compares this data size to 2 billion 200 page books. Zubrin suggests that the next step in this research is to search for encoded microbes in our surrounding environment. He proposes exposing bacteria to space conditions to discover which would be the most suitable and adapted for flight and survival in different conditions. Any unusual microbes found in our stratosphere may be worth further investigation. When we discover any DNA codes, it may be equivalent to discovering an ancient artifact. It is astonishing that readings of radio on the upper atmosphere of Venus have not been detected for about 30 years, since 1992. This implies that the new data collected by researchers will be valuable to obtain updated information on changes in the planet during this period. This task is especially challenging due to the hostile environment in the Venusian atmosphere, which makes exploring and studying the planet difficult. So what have researchers discovered about Venus that is different since 1992? First of all, the atmosphere seems to be more rarefied than in the last data collection. Researchers believe this is due to the fact that the magnetic poles of the Sun mysteriously change position every 11 years, as a result of the star's solar cycles. Before the change in magnetic poles, the Sun's magnetic field weakens and then returns to its maximum strength before decreasing again before the next change. As the previous measurement in 1992 was taken during a period of the solar cycle when the magnetic field was near maximum, the current reading is taken as we approach solar minimum. Scientists hypothesize that the ionosphere of Venus is changing with the solar cycle and may be significantly different from the last time it was measured. Although the reason for this is still unclear, scientists believe that the Sun's magnetic fields have an influence on this change and hope that future collected data can help them better decipher this phenomenon. Physics aims to understand the fixed rules of the universe, and the idea of traversable wormholes is something that physicists have long desired. In science fiction, it is common to play with the idea of breaking the rules of the universe and explore what would happen if these rules did not exist. This idea leads us to think about wormholes and imaginary space dangers that we see on the big screen. In reality, the idea of wormholes may be consistent with the established rules of general relativity and the standard model of physics, but they were not traversable, meaning it was impossible to pass through them. Until now. A wormhole is a theoretical structure, a kind of tunnel that connects two distinct points in spacetime. Imagine entering a wormhole and emerging in a different place in time, or in the same place at a different time, or in a different location and time altogether. To date, there is much speculation about where these wormholes could be. Despite not challenging the precepts of general relativity theory, it is certain that we have not observed any wormholes. In 2021, a team of physicists in Princeton discovered a theoretical loophole for the existence of a wormhole in a universe of five dimensions, 
contradicting the principles of quantum mechanics. According to these researchers, it could be possible to create a large enough wormhole to allow for the travel of a manned spacecraft. However, for astronauts on the other side of the universe, this possibility is still confined to the mathematical and theoretical world. It is unlikely that something like this exists naturally, and our current technology is still far from allowing the realization of something so complex. The idea that wormholes may exist and be traversed is fascinating, although it does not seem that we will be skipping around the universe anytime soon. And, to make matters worse, there is a black hole with 10 billion solar masses that is missing. When it comes to space, there is a phenomenon that everyone knows, black holes. Books, movies, and TV love to feature them, but our understanding is still limited. It seems that there is a black hole in every galactic center, with its incomparable gravitational force sucking everything into itself. Even in the vast and mysterious cosmos, where black holes seem to reign supreme, the inexplicable absence of one can still surprise even the most experienced astronomers. Dr. Mark Postman, a member of the prestigious Space Telescope Science Institute, was scanning the universe with the famous Hubble Space Telescope when he came across the supergiant galaxy A2261 BCG, a colossal cosmic mass that seemed to be missing something, a central black hole. For Todd Lauer, a galactic core expert at the National Optical Infrared Astronomy Research Laboratory in Tucson, Arizona, the absence of the black hole was truly unusual, to say the least. Based on everything we know about these celestial entities, the 2261 BCG should have a black hole at its center, containing an absurd mass of 10 billion suns. Compared to the black hole in our own galactic home, the Milky Way, with only 4 billion solar masses, the discrepancy is remarkable. How can something so massive and powerful go unnoticed by the vigilant eyes of scientists? It is an intriguing and disturbing question. Some astronomers believe that the explanation may lie in the merger of two black holes originally present in a 2261 BCG. The ideas postulated by three astronomers, Mitchell Bagelman, Martin Rees, and Robert Blanford, suggest that, after the merger, the resulting black hole could have been thrown away from the galactic center, where it would be almost impossible to detect. It is a fascinating hypothesis, but so far there is no conclusive evidence to confirm it. Until more information is obtained, the absence of the black hole in a 2261 BCG remains an intriguing cosmic mystery, challenging the known laws of physics and leaving astronomers scratching their heads. Thus, the universe is a vast and enigmatic realm that hides secrets that challenge our brightest minds. However, when nature lets slip one of its darkest mysteries, astronomers at the Institute of Space Telescope Science are alerted to an unusual discovery. A 2261 BCG, a supergiant galaxy, catches Dr. Mark Postman's attention as he surveys the surrounding galaxies with the famous Hubble Space Telescope. However, to his surprise, the colossal black hole that should be at the center of the galaxy had vanished. While it's hard to imagine such a massive black hole going unnoticed for so long, the team of astronomers found that the gravitational attraction of the black hole is still felt by four small knots of light in the diffuse core of the galaxy. Sarah Burke led a survey team to investigate the nature of these knots, and found that two of them were actually two smaller galaxies existing within the main galaxy. Now, with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers are eager to use its extraordinary capabilities to solve the remaining mystery of the two knots that have not yet been fully described. These findings are a humble reminder that we still have much to learn about the universe around us. As scientists continue to explore the unknown, outer space continues to surprise us with its mysterious and unsettling enigmas. Share your thoughts on these discoveries in the comments below and join us in the quest for answers. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates on the latest discoveries and theories in the field of astronomy.